Alright. What's your name again? My name's Tyler. Oh. Tyler? Uh, yes, that's my name. Alright everyone, this is Tyler. This is going to be our uh, third drummer. Fourth drummer, I think. Bob, I think that's our fourth drummer. Alright. Let's see so, what we can uh, do to join this band. Uh, yeah, what, what, what can we play? We're going to play that slow song, alright? Alright. Count us in, play, we're going to play a song, and uh, we'll see how this goes. Alright. Try out. Whoa, 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 we're playing a slow song, man. What do you think we are, Tool? Come on, man. I thought I thought I was adding some next to your song. Okay, I, I thought that was really. Song. I thought that. There's no way. Well, all right, Mr. Neil Peart. Who's he? Uh. You know, I, I, I would never say I'm like Travis no, Barker. No, thank you. There's uh, no way. Who can dance that? Uh, Who can freaking dance that? Uh, yeah, oh, man, it's freaking, cool. Yeah. Hey, guys. Welcome to another episode of Kyle Explains a Lot of Things. Now, if you're a musician, you're starting off playing drums or guitar. It is so easy to fall into the trap of wearing the coolest tricks and the coolest drum fills and guitar licks that you can think of. And then you join that first band or a couple first bands you try out for and you just let it all out there. You say, hey, this is what I got. This is what I can play. Look at my skill set. Well, I'm here to tell you that logic should go right out the window. Now, I've been there in a couple of bands when I was like 18, 19, 20, 21. And I feel like at that age, we all have that uh, proving mentality where we want to disprove the others that, you know, that we're awesome and like we're capable of doing anything and, you know, we're invincible. Let's just face it. Around the age of 21, we feel invincible. We feel like we can do anything. Well, as I learned over the years, as you get wiser and you get some gray hairs, I'm not at that stage. I got another 20 years to go. Um, you start to realize that it's not about what you know and all the technicalities you know as a player. It's all about making the song better. How can you optimize the song and make the beat work with the song? Whether you're playing a guitar, the tone, the singing, lyrically, it doesn't matter because a band and a song is a collaborative effort between a bunch of people, or yourself for that matter, and everything has to work together in unity. And when you get that perfect mix of everything coming together, you will surely feel the reward and you'll hear it, and it'll be very awesome. And when people know, as a drummer, the key is to not make yourself sound distracting. It is about being in the song. When someone doesn't hear your drums and it doesn't get distracting to the point where you can't hear the lyrics or you can't hear the guitar parts or the guitar is too loud or what have you, then that's when you know you're making a mistake. Now a couple of tips that I've known over the years is to keep the beat simple. Now you can expand and do things within the structure of a song in a verse. For example, when someone is singing, it doesn't mean you start doing this crazy triplet beat or some double bass stuff, or start playing a cowbell like Will Farrell from SNL, right? No. You gotta understand when there's pauses or transitions between the verse and the chorus or bridges or the intro or the ending, that is your moment to shine as a player or as a drummer to do your drum fill. And at that point, it is up to you what you wanna do at that part of the song. Hey, you gotta make sure you listen to the old decrepit bass player of no teeth. Because he has a lot of wisdom. He might not have any wisdom teeth, but he has a lot of knowledge to share and to make you a better player. I know, I know. Over the years, I'm like, I don't want to listen to this guy. This guy's nuts. This guy's crazy. No. That, th those guys, you got to listen to those weird guys because they know what they're talking about. All bass players are weird. I feel like I'm going to get like assassinated if I say that because they're tremendous, awesome bass players. And I am definitely play with a bass player in my current band that I'm in who's awesome. So, kudos to that. 
But sometimes, you know, in life, listen to those wiser people, your parents, your older siblings, teachers, or older bandmates. I've had the wonderful opportunity to play in a bunch of bands with people in their 50s and 40s. And me being, you know, 20, 20 year old kid, um, playing the songs with these people, and you grow up fast as a musician. You take what they learn. When you're in the same age group and everyone's the same age, that's when you have a lot of arguments and people don't really notice things, you know, any mistakes. But when you play with people older, that is the one tip I would definitely tell you. Play with people older, more experienced than you, and you will learn a lot of the keys. Now a couple examples that I've done personally was this overplaying, getting too excited in the song and speeding it up or slowing it down, and just adding too many fills when it was unnecessary. And you can easily tell because someone gives you that look. You know, when you see that dead stare, run away. Run away, run into the hills, hide, hide your kids, hide your woman, because you don't want to know what happens after that. You know, I heard a great saying that when people make mistakes in a band, the best player in a band will be able to cover their mistakes. And it's very true. You know, everyone makes mistakes. Let's face it. You're going to make a mistake. You're going to make a terrible mistake and make an idiot of yourself. But can you cover yourself? See, these are all the keys and tips to being a better musician and a player and a person. Is understanding the tools needed necessary to succeed in your playing. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys learned a couple of new uh, tips for your playing and to help you out. And I hope you found this entertaining. If you did, please hit subscribe, like, comment, describe some of your experiences that you have done that you felt like you've outgrown as a player. Things that you've learned from that you wish you would have known when you first started out. I'd love to hear some of those stories because we all got those stories to share. And a lot of people will find that helpful to learn from. You know, the more we put out there, the more mistakes that we show people, the more the future will learn from them and then better themselves. Hopefully. <laughs> the future is bright as always. So, until then, I'll see you guys later. Now get out. This is Tyler. <laughs> okay. Alright, well that is it. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What the f is this, man? You think we are a tool? We're playing a slow song, man. Who can dance the f in a beat like that? Huh? Uh, yeah, man, it's cool.